today we will sketch knuckle joint in solid works so let's see how to do it knuckle joint in solid works and we will make the relation and everything let's now we will make the first part of knuckle joint i end so select front plane sketch select circle and draw two circle with origin point and keep the diameter 100 mm 100 cm and 50 cm okay now here we selected the dimension centimeter okay select center line and draw one horizontal center line make sure it is horizontal select corner rectangle select the circle okay now select this three lines and make relation symmetric now select this width height 60 mm and the distance from this end 140 cm okay now choose trim entities delete inside lines okay select sketch fillet and keep this one 50 cm select this line and this circle the same as opposite direction okay now let extrude it select extruded boss and extrude up to 60 cm okay now select this face sketch normal here draw one circle and keep the diameter 50 cm and the distance from origin point keep 30 cm okay and select the mid point of circle and origin point and make a relation horizontal okay select a line and we want to make some relation here draw a one triangle and assign the dimension for triangle 18.06 cm select okay now choose circular pattern select this as a center point and select this three triangles center point delete and select this as a center point we want four number of patterns select okay now see here selected now exit from the sketch and select extruded boss in feature pattern clear select this four patterns only four not circle uh, sorry we want to make extrude cut select this corner pattern only and cut up to 60 cm inside okay now again choose this sketch and select extruded cut and here select only center point oh sorry uh, we want to extrude this time this time select only circle and extrude up to 120.5 cm okay choose fillet keep 12 cm and select this all four corners okay now our first part i and ready select metal and give brush finish to whole body so this is our first part now save it 
डेस्कटॉप क्रिएट वन फोल्डर नकल ज्वाइंट एंड फर्स्ट पार्ट सेव आई I end. Let's move for next part. Now we will sketch second part, fork end. So let's start. First, change our unit centimeter. Select a plane sketch. Select corner rectangle. And draw one rectangle and keep the width 120 and height 250 mm okay and let extrude it and select 100 mm height okay now select this top face sketch normal and here we will create some geometry first select center line and draw one center line bottom to down up to down draw one circle and just draw one more circle bigger than and meet this this line okay now let define the dimensions 60 cm and the bigger one 120 cm by default okay and the gap between these two 4 cm and this circle from top line 150 cm okay choose a line connect one line with this line okay select this line and make sure it is vertical and assign the gap 30 mm okay select mirror select this line and mirror about this line okay now it is mirror we can see it here now select the whole face convert entities now the see all border converted choose trim entities select delete inside lines okay select fillet and make 50 mm and select these two ends the same as here also select okay select a line and we want to connect this line from bottom exit just mirror this line up to opposite direction okay Choose stream entities and delete this inside lines, and make sure these lines are vertical. Select this line, keep vertical. Okay. Now the geometry is fully defined. Now we will try to extrude cut, and here we will select the portion which we want to cut it. okay this all portion we want to cut select here through all okay now see now select this face sketch normal now draw a circle here okay now we will assign some relation select this circle and this line tangent this line and this circle tangent the same as select bottom line and circle tangent now the circle is defined select circle and draw one more circle and keep the diameter 50 mm okay select center line and connect one center line choose corner rectangle and draw from this end to circle okay now select this 
थ्री लाइन्स एंड मेक रिलेशन सिमेट्रिक ओके नाउ साइन दी गैप बिटवीन दिस टू कीप सिक्सटी एम एम ओके चूज फ्रीम एंटिटीज एंड डिलीट दिस इन साइड लाइन्स सेलेक्ट फिलेट सेलेक्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम एंड सेलेक्ट दिस टू एंड ओके ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट एक्सट्रूडेड कट एंड हियर वी विल सेलेक्ट दिस एंड दिस एंड दिस एंड दिस एंड नॉट गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट और क्लियर इट गो टू स्केच एंड सेलेक्ट दिस आउटर लाइन and click convert entities it is converted now now we will select extrude cut and here we will select our area which we want to cut and center circle and select here through all see select okay now see it is cut it now select this face sketch normal Draw a circle. First, make one center line from this end to this end. Now, draw one circle from mid line and keep the diameter fifty mm. Okay. Now, select a line and create one triangle here. now define this 17.40 and here also 17.4 mm okay now we want to circular make circular pattern this is the our center point and select this point delete this center and select this midpoint as a center point we want four number of templates select okay now it is selected four numbers now let's select extrude cut and here we will select this four triangle only and cut up to 60 cm okay now again select this sketch select extruded boss and here select only circle and extrude up to 150.7 cm okay now our fork end is ready we will define the material brush the steel see it looks nice we will see in assembly uh, select 12 we will do one thing clear select first face second face we will try this face and this face i think no we have to do one by one okay 12 cm okay select okay 
now this this is ready so save as fork end okay now let's move for next part let's make the third part knuckle pin so choose front plane sketch now here select line and start from origin point vertical then horizontal vertical horizontal one more vertical and connect with origin and now let's assign the dimension 25 cm 35 cm this 12 cm and the full length 157 cm now is fully defined select here revolve boss base and this this line select as a axis okay now choose top plane sketch and here we want to make a hole for pin draw one circle and keep the diameter 6 mm and the distance from this internal head 130 cm okay and make one relation the hole center and the origin point should be horizontal okay now let's extrude cut choose through all see it will cut both direction okay now we will assign the brush finish steel to whole body and we will assign some yellow color to identify see now save as knuckle pin let's move for a next part let's make the fourth part color choose front plane sketch select circle and draw two circles with origin point and keep the diameter 70 cm and 50 cm okay and let extrude it and extrude up to 20 cm okay select top plane sketch and here also draw one circle keep the diameter 6 cm and the distance from upward direction 10 cm okay now select the center point of whole circle and origin point and create one relation vertical see now it is in center point select extruded cut and select here through all both now see it's going to cut both direction select okay now the holes created first we will assign the material brushed finish and uh, let's assign green for identification now save as color and let's make the last part pin this inside pin let's make the last part, part of knuckle joint taper pin choose top plane and draw one 6 dia cent Centi circle and let extrude it and extrude up to seventy two centim centimeter. Okay. And this time we will assign some different color. okay blue color now save as taper pin now let's make start the assembly of knuckle joint 
now we will make the assembly for knuckle joint so select new assembly ok now assembly window open here browse our first part first part choose fork end ok now set the window I prefer to increase the image quality ok now this is the first part fork insert another part I end ok let's select mat select this hole and this hole co-centric ok now it is in center now select this one face and this inside face coincident ok now you can see it is rotating 360 degree later we will assign the dimension or angle insert another component knuckle pin select the mat select inside face co-centric select this head back side and this face coincident ok now insert the next component collar select this hole make mat and choose this co-centric select ok now we will assign one more relation select this hole and this hole make relation co-centric here also ok now see we can see through all now uh, we fix our last component so browse it our last component taper pin now select this pin mat and select this hole inside co-centric ok now we will make one more relation here select this top face and this face and make distance 1 mm select ok ok this distance allocated now you can see it is rotating 360 degree so we will allocate some more relation choose advanced mat select this circle and this circle and here select angle angle make 90 degree maximum one seventy five and minimum ninety select ok now you can see it here just take down ok this is maximum this is minimum ninety degree is minimum and maximum one seventy five ok now save this assembly I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to share and like our video. And thanks for watching.